All right, uh, the diver right. So diver divergence test states uh, this way. All right, if you take the limit of n as n approaches uh, infinity is not equal to zero. Serum does not equal to zero uh, in the limit. The the series diverges. All right. So uh, let's prove. Actually, let's prove this test. All right. So here's the equivalent statement. Uh, so uh, equivalently. Uh, this is the uh, this is actually called the contrapositive uh, if you have heard of it contra positive statement All right contra positive statement is uh, equivalent to the statement given here it's um, so it's say if a n so the series not Diver, does not diverge, which means converge. So opposite of the conclusion uh, implies the opposite of the hypotheses. So uh, limit of a n as n approaches uh, infinity equal to zero. All right. This is equivalent. So let's prob uh, let's try to uh, prove uh, this contrapositive statement. All right. So uh, if uh, so, here's a proof. All right, if we know that the series summation n goes from 1 to infinity of a n uh, converges to converges to um, uh, all right, uh, which means that uh, the limit of the partial sum s n as uh, n approaches infinity. Uh, this this sum s, all right. Then we notice that that this implies that uh, let's see uh, limit of uh, a n as n approaches infinity, all right. And there's a way to uh, uh, express a n uh, as a difference between the partial sums. This is actually the same thing as limit as n approaches infinity, right? a n is uh, same as s n, which is a sum from a1 all the way through a n. And then if you subtract s n minus 1, since this is a sum of uh, from a1 to a n minus 1, the difference is going to be a n. So this is actually the same as a n. All right, but uh, we know that uh, you know we just said that uh, uh, the limit of uh, the partial sum, this one, is going to approach s, right? Then uh, partial sum of uh, you know up to n minus one, but n is going to infinity anyway. It's not going to really make any difference. This guy, this sum, is actually going to approach s as well, right? So which means that uh, this is going to be simply s minus s of course which is zero right so if the series converges then limit of a n has to be equal to zero right so the equivalent statement would be if the limit of a n is not equal to zero then the series must be divergent right this is called the divergence test and it catches some of the obvious divergence series but uh, not all the divergent series. So I'll give you a, a very simple example. All right. So here's an example. All right. So let's try to see if uh, this is divergent. All right. So what you do is we take the limit of uh, a n. Right. So a n in this case is this guy. So this is uh, a n. Right. So it's a two n over. 1 plus uh, 3n, right? And uh, we can use the usual trick. Uh, you can uh, multiply and top and bottom by 1 over n. So divide by n and divide by n. And then what you get is uh, you're going to get the limit as uh, n approaches infinity. And then you're going to have uh, n cancel out. So you're just going to get 2. 1 divided by n is 1 over n, and 3n divided by n is uh, 3, right? 
So you can see that uh, here, uh, this guy, 1 over n, and uh, n is going to get larger and larger. This is going to approach 0. So what's left is uh, 2 over 3, right? 2 over 3, which is obviously not equal to 0, right? So therefore, uh, we know that uh, this guy is going to be divergent, right, by divergence test right so that's how you apply divergence test to see if the given series is divergent right but the limit uh, of a n equal to zero does not guarantee convergence and uh, here's an example uh, uh, if you look at the harmonic series for, for example which is known to be divergent Right, but uh, if you do a limit of one over n as n approaches infinity, this is actually is equal to zero, right? One over infinity, right? But uh, this does not mean, right? So it does not mean that uh, this guy is convergent because that is not true, right? And this is going to be again. This is going to be. This is a divergent series because this is a harmonic series. We already checked, right? Harmonic series, right? So harmonic series uh, kind of passes the divergence test, but that doesn't mean that uh, it's going to converge. It's actually it still diverges, right? So divergence test does not catch all the di divergent series. It's going to catch some of the divergent series, but uh, if you if you have uh, if you you know if you have uh, a limit of n not equaling zero, then we are, we already know that uh, the given series is divergent. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.